So to download joint reports, the first thing we need is Microsoft Active Sync. Um, we're looking for version 4.5 or later. This is the program that allows the, the Recon handheld and your desktop PC to actually communicate. To get it, we're going to go to Microsoft's website at Microsoft.com. The easiest way to find it is just to do a quick search. Type in ActiveSync 4.5. As you can see, it's fairly easy to find. Alright, so now we actually need to download the program. We can just skip the registration. As you can see, we're going to scroll down to download the files. So I want the setup.msi. Since I want to actually install this on this particular computer, I'll just run it. Now that it's downloaded, it's going to give me a security warning. Let's go ahead and click Run. Okay, so we're going to continue through the installation process. So you can just enter your information. And now it will install on your computer. Now that we've completed the downloading process, we can plug our recon into our computer with the provided cable. You'll notice that now your computer recognizes the recon. You'll see the active sync down on your taskbar. Now this is a question that comes up from time to time. You might see a warning like this or when ActiveSync actually opens it will try to create a partnership. We don't want to do this. We don't want to do this for several reasons. One, we don't want to burden the recon with a bunch of email, games, pictures, and so on. In addition, if we create a partnership, when you plug the recon into your computer it may try to download your email and put it on this handheld. So in the interest of privacy, it's generally better not to create a partnership. So here's the synchronization setup wizard. As I just said, we don't want to do this, so we'll just hit cancel. We are now ready to download joint reports.